Hi everyone, welcome to our learning video sessions on Microsoft Excel for Chemical Engineers. This video lesson teaches how to use Microsoft Excel software to create graphs and charts. Microsoft Excel provides you many tools to create different graphs and charts. When we click on the Insert tab, we can see the available tools to create graphs and charts. At there, you can see the tools for Column Graphs, Line Graphs, Pie Charts, Bar Graphs, Area and Scatter Diagrams, and other types of graphs. If you press the insert button under the toolbar, you can see all the graph options in one window. Ok, let's see how we can create some graphs for some available data. You can see a data table on the screen now. These data are related to a chemical reaction between A and B, which produces C in a reactor. We can see the concentration of each chemical component in kilomole per liter with respect to the time in minutes. And conversion of reactant A with respect to the volume of the reactor in liters. You can easily make a graph by just selecting the data and click on the tool for the required graph type. To see this, let's make a scatter diagram for the concentration of reactant A versus time. First, highlight the relevant data. Then go to the scatter diagram tool and click on the required graph type. So here we can see the respective graph. Now we need to make the graphs for concentrations of reactants B and C also in the same diagram. For that we can use another method. Right click on the chart and go to select data option. At there, you can add another graph. Let's name the series name as CB. Time values as the X values and concentration of B as Y values. Similarly, we can add the graph for the concentration of C as well. We can edit the series names in the legend in the selected data tab. Let's change series 1 as CA. Now you can see that we have plotted the three graphs in one scatter diagram. Next, let's see the available options to improve the information in a graph. When you click on the chart, you can see the chart tools in the main toolbar. The design tab is to modify the shape of the graphs. The format tab is to modify the line type, colors and other fine tuning options. 
we are not going to show how to work with these options in this video because they are pretty simple and you can easily use these tools to fine tune the presentation of your graphs. However, let's see the layout tool to improve our graph information. The graph that we generated doesn't have axis titles and other information. In the layout tab, we have the chart title. So we can enter a title for the chart. Next, we can enter the axis titles. In this case, the x-axis or the horizontal axis title is the time in minutes. And the y-axis or the vertical axis title is the concentration in kilomole per liter. For the vertical axis title, we selected rotated title option for better looking. If you want to modify the values in the two axes, you can right click on each axis and select format axis option. As an example, let's say we want to show the graphs only for first 10 minutes. So we can modify the axis options. At there, we can enter the maximum value to be 10. If you want to show the grid lines in your chart, go to the grid lines button. At there, you have major and minor grid lines options. For this case, let's select major grid lines only. These grid lines help you for easy identification of values in the graphs. To practice the graph tools in Microsoft Excel software, let's create another graph for the conversion of reactant A versus the volume of the reactor. This time, let's make a bar graph for the reactor volume versus conversion. Select the relevant data and enter a bar graph. Modify the axis titles and other chart options for a better looking. In a bar graph, x-axis values are shown as bar numbers. So the information from this bar graph is that the volume of the reactor increases with respect to the conversion. In this video lesson, we learned how to make graphs and charts using Microsoft Excel software. Like this, you can use the chart tools in Microsoft Excel software in order to create any graph for available data. You can practice by yourself for more chart types with the help of this video lesson. That's the end of our fourth video lesson. Have a nice day and goodbye.